Hello YouTube, thought we'd do a quick video here. Um talking with some gentlemen in my Zello chat channel. Um we're having issues with the uh Surecom meters. Uh one of the gentlemen just got a new one today and he hooked it up and it's not reading correctly, and that is the Surecom SW one oh two model. And as you know, I also just did a video on the Surecom uh, 33 Plus model. I'm in talks with Surecom. We're going to see where it leads to. But I want to do a quick video um, about this. And also, I'd like to also mention it's another gentleman in my chat channel, um, also in my Zello channel, also has the Surecom SW102, but his is older. His works properly. His is about two years old. So it seems like the newer ones, the Surecom SW102 meters, don't seem to be working correctly on the GMRS frequencies. And mine also, which is a Surecom 33 Plus. So, uh, so that's the deal there. And like I said, I was ch you know, chatting with different gentlemen in my Zello channel. Um, Scott from Chicago, he's the one that uh, actually has the older Surecom SW102. His does seem to work properly. Uh, and then we got Thomas there from South Carolina. He just got his SW102 in the mail today, brand new, and it does not work. So I don't know if there's a firmware difference. I don't know what's going on. I think he also po posted a review on Amazon about his situation. Um, so, at any rate, I want to do this quick video to kind of show you what we're talking about. And I know with these meters, they use the forward wattage and the, um, uh, I can't think of it, RW uh, reverse wattage. Um, I can't think if that's the right term or not, but at any rate, they use those numbers to calculate the SWR. So, and interesting, my RW is shows pretty low on this meter, hence why my readings are different compared to the Nano. Now, I understand the Nano is going to be a little more accurate, but these meters should be fairly close. Um, so, what we're going to do, and it seems like it may work on different frequencies a little bit better. So let's do this. What I'm going to do is I got the Nano program for 154.200. Now, if that's a ham frequency, I don't know. But this is a test video, so please do not leave comments about not having a ham license. If that's a ham frequency, I don't care, to be honest with you. Anyway, this is just a test video, okay? So I got the Nano programmed, 154. Dot 200. We got my RF test board to verify the nano is working correctly. I have it on the 33 ohm, which is 1.5 SWR, and my meter reads 1 1.45, almost perfect. So this is reading correctly. I got the radio with the Surecom SW330 Plus hooked up. I got the radio, well, actually it will be, there, uh, I had to switch it back to the 154.200, we're going to key this up, and it looks like I'm getting a high SWR, it looks like it may be possibly working, because this antenna is not tuned for GMRS. That's what I'm getting with the meter. So let's go ahead and unhook the Nano. Hold on. I'm going to unhook this. And we're going to hook up the Nano. We're going to move the test board. We're done with that. We're going to hook up the Nano. Hopefully here, it's kind of hard to do with one hand. But hopefully we can get it here. Okay, there we go. Now, Make sure they're right. Nano 154.200. 
and 5.31, which would be correct, about-ish, because this antenna is not tuned for that frequency. So if you look at the re reading on the radio, it was 4.50, fairly close, not bad. Now let's go to the GMR frequency. So we're going to hit this. I already, you know, obviously, this has all been calibrated. I got to hit recall. We got to do this. Okay. Now we're in the GMR frequency. Let me tune this to the right frequency. Oops. Okay. Let me tune this to the right frequency. Bear with me. Hard to see. Okay. So there, we have it on 46.625. I read 1.7. Okay. Let's change the radio. Hope you can see that. Probably can't. Let's change the radio to the other frequency, which I just did. And that should be also 462. Let's get this in the light here. 462.625, same as my Nano 1.7. Let's unhook this. Let's hook up the GMRS. Let's hook this up to the same antenna. We're going to key this up. Let's see what we get. 1.06. Hmm. That's not good. And look at my, and the R, they actually call it, yeah, RW on here is saying 0 0.05. So obviously if you do the formula, it probably does come out to be 1.06, but that's not what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be 1.7. So let's rehook it up. So there you are. You see that? I'm on the GMR's frequency. The arrow's on the on the 4.6. I'm on high power because SIRCOM says on this particular meter it can only do read accurately. I think is what they were trying to say, three watts or more. So I already did that. So this is on high power. So that's not the issue. So let's hook up the Nano and see. Remember that says 1.06, and that's going to hold its memory. While we hook up the nano back up, all this has been calibrated. You can tell on the screen when the nano is calibrated because there is the, I'll show you here in a minute. Let me get this hooked up. You can tell when it's calibrated because it has these right here on the side. And there we are, 1.7. Same frequency. So, this meter cannot do GMR as frequencies. The newer SW102 models are the same. And you can hop on my Zello channel and chat with the other people on there. They're noticing some issues um, with these meters. So there you have it. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. And please subscribe. And thank you. And have a good day. Oh, and I'm in talks. I'll let you know what Surecom says just to let you know that. But I'm still emailing them back and forth. But at any rate, thank you and have a good day.